In this video, we'll review the Salesforce integration that's part of Acumatica 2017 R2. Salesforce integration is a bi-directional sync that covers many specific objects within Salesforce and Acumatica. The sync from Salesforce to Acumatica utilizes data streaming technology to notify Acumatica that a record's been changed. Acumatica then goes and picks that up in real time. On the interface back to Salesforce from Acumatica, Acumatica takes advantage of the REST APIs associated with Salesforce. In addition to the real-time nature of the sync, there's additional error checking and processing, user-based sync and problem resolution, and we do support custom fields that are attached to the specific objects that are synced. To purchase this feature, you only need to buy Acumatica CRM. Some of you may recall that there's an existing solution that uses a standard provider for a batch interface between Salesforce and Acumatica. The real-time sync is going to improve upon that and looks to be where we're going to focus our development efforts in the future. This chart shows similarities and differences between the two methodologies. Configuring this integration is quite easy. You simply go in and enable the feature, configure the details of your data provider in Acumatica, uh, you activate the different scenarios in Salesforce, validate and import your import scenarios. In another video, we'll go through a more detailed look at the uh, implementation and configuration steps. To demonstrate how it works, we're going to go through a simple example scenario involving several people. I'll start as a product manager who wants to introduce a new product. So we'll go ahead here and we'll copy this Powerade. Get some Gatorade, paste, save it. Now, as we notice, we can go over here to our Salesforce synchronization and take a look and see that our product's been synchronized. If we switch over to our Salesforce interface, go to the products, there's our Gatorade. Take our Gatorade. Uh, if we want to, we can add a price to it. Save. We can also add it to a price book. Oh, and activate it, and now we're ready for sale. To begin the sales process, let's enter a contact. Go in, create a new contact. And we'll save our contact. We also may want to associate this with an account. So we can go actually create an account while we're at it. and save. And then let's go back to our and associate that with our business account. Now switching back over to Acumatica, if we refresh this screen, uh, you'll notice that my contact is here. And it's been synchronized, linked with the new business account that we created as well. So you'll see that my new business account is also here as well. Now the next step would be for the salesperson to go create an opportunity. Opportunities in Salesforce are similar to sales orders. So we'll go in and create an opportunity. Game refreshment, Gatorade, expect to close in a week, put in the qualification stage, hit save. And now we're gonna go add a product from our price books and select it's a whole team worth, so we'll add 150 of them, save. And now we're done with our adding our opportunity. In my current implementation, each opportunity is automatically synced with Acumatica. We could set it up so that only opportunities which reach a certain stage are then synced for order processing within Acumatica. So once again, we're going to go back over to here, refresh our real-time sync, and we notice a small error. So to fix that error, I'm going to go back and modify my import scenario and be right back. After modifying my import scenario uh, by adding something for the branch and resync my opportunity. And you'll see that now I have my opportunity inside Acumatica. Sales operations can go mark the opportunity as one. They can also go in and review the quantity of products. And if needed, they could even say they don't think they can get this many, so they're only going to have 100 and they can go in and save that opportunity and mark it as one. 
At this point, they would go through the normal Acumatica process of creating the sales order and creating the shipment and getting the order fulfilled. Back on the sales side of things, the salesperson can see that the order is shipped. Uh, once again, we could be better with our nomenclature than in this demonstration. So this is a short example that takes you through a full end-to-end -end process from entering a product, the sales team working in Salesforce, while sales operations and shipping fulfill the order in Acumatica, with all four people being kept in sync. That concludes this video on Salesforce integration. Thank you for watching.